So we've always come off the ferry and driven off and gone left and headed up that road. And we've never come down to Imjar Harbour. Just look at this joint. It's just gorgeous. Boats, jet skis, beautiful crystal clear sea. Uh, it is sensational. Met a couple of Aussies that have come off that ship anchored down there. They were ferried across by the little ferry, bringing them back and forth. Obviously those big cruisers don't dock in here. Can't get in. I see the Gozo ferries just rocked up from Malta, the red one, full of people. What a beautiful harbour now. I got excited. There's a few restaurants here that I've heard about. Uh, one is the uh, Tatonna. You've got the Glen Eagles bar up there. And... Uh, no, sorry, this one here is shut. We might actually stay here for lunch, we'll see. It's just about that time, getting a bit peckish. And then Brenda and I are going to head back to, uh, back home, to Malta. So, what a sight, yeah, you've got your high-speed ferry there. Um, that beautiful white and green thing. Then you've got that smaller red one that's got IC Malta on it and then just come up behind it is the big, one of the big Gozo vehicle ferries. Um, man, what a glorious day it is. What a glorious day it is. This guy with this beautiful big Olsen rib was backing in earlier. We had a truck, a small tip truck backing him in and we stopped and waited and it looks like uh, there's... They've actually detached the trailer from the truck. I often see this in Malta. So in Australia, we just back in and let our boats roll off the uh, boat trailers back in Australia. Now over here, obviously, they don't know what they're doing. They don't trust the maybe the weight of the boat compared to the weight of the vehicle. I don't know. But this guy seems to have it all under control. He's got a cable, pretty sturdy type cable to his trailer, by the look of it, um, from the truck. The truck is running, the trailer is being held by that cable. Now obviously that cable snaps, the whole thing rolls down into the water. But what a beast of a boat. Mate, this guy knows what he's doing mate, that is solid steel cable connected to a, a, a motorised winch on that truck. That trailer is not for road use, that's just here for the to get the boat in they probably did some work on it or something what a beautiful harbour um i've got a bit of a dilemma now because to be honest i'm seeing all these names of restaurants around me that are familiar because of our followers making recommendations we've got the Glen eagles bar which is kind of legendary here just as you dock there's a gozo channel passenger terminal and then you've got the Glen eagles bar welcoming you you've got tmum restaurant roof there behind these boats You've got that delightful 180, you shut 180 there on the on the bend, and there is another one behind here I saw. So we're gonna have to make a, a decision here as to where to eat. Uh, there's more down here. We're gonna have a look. It's a bit early, they don't open till 12, most of them. Beautiful. These guys aren't playing football on the water, they're uh, they're their floats. We've got Cecilia Bella, we've got Sammy's, Gepetto G, we've got plenty of restaurants here. Let me tell you. Mullet everywhere and down the bottom, I don't know if you can see them, there is some, uh, uh, well, back home I call them a brim. I'm not sure if uh, that's what they are here, but they look like a brim to me. They swim like a brim. Right down the bottom there. See the big ones down the bottom there with the black spot on them? They look like a, a brim or a perch or something. Another big ferry's come in. Geez, boats everywhere coming in here today. That's uh, Supreme Cruises. It's a local one. Gozo Camino Blue Lagoon. It is packed. Have a look at the people in there, man. They're like sardines. Good day for it. The seas are uh, the seas have abated. 
this guy is still lowering the entire rig trailer at all where there's a will there's a way well it's been about six hours since breakfast we are all very hungry I'm gonna wind it up here in Jar Harbour I'm happy to be here beautiful place big church on the hill there figure out what that one is someone will tell us I need to get myself a boat I've been looking around just for something small like this look a little buck in here with a friend that'll provide me some storage so I just need to do it beautiful been a wonderful gozo trip guys it's really been a lovely few days despite the wind that we had early on we still managed to get around see a lot swim a lot I highly recommend it and I highly recommend a farmhouse if you've got a decent group of people look as a guide I can tell you that um, uh, we were 12 most of the few days 12 of us three nights uh, we paid about 1350 euro okay now when you work that out per four families if you like uh, couples or families uh, work it out it's somewhere around 350 400 euro a pop um, for my reckoning that's pretty good value that's a full-on farmhouse um, you know you need nothing just bring some food go go shopping and fill up the fridge and freezer and and pantry and um, just chill out beautiful pool so it was good value for us I really enjoyed it I'm gonna wind this one up from the beautiful bustling in Jar Harbour